Welcome back viewers. In this case you've been told to solve log 4 to base x squared to be equals to 1 minus log 8 to base x cubed. Now the first thing you will do is to remember that when you have log a to base b that is simply log a over log b. So, when you are given log 4 to base x squared, that can be rewritten as log 4 over log x squared to be equals to 1 minus log 8 to base x cubed can be rewritten as log 8 over log x cubed. So, the next thing we do is to factorize the numbers. We factorize 4 and 8. So when we factorize 4, we'll get log 2 squared, then it is over log x squared to be equals to 1 minus log, if you factorize 8, 8 is 2 cubed over log x cubed. Now, the next step, remember, when you are given log a to power b, that is b log a, meaning the power can be written as the coefficient of the log. So in this case, it means this 2 will be the coefficient of that log, this 2 will be the coefficient there, the 3 here will be the coefficient, the 3 here will be the, the coefficient. So what will we have? We will have the 2 has become the coefficient, so that is 2 log 2 over this 2 has become coefficient over 2 log x to be equals to 1. The 3 has become coefficient, so it is minus 3 log 2 over the 3 here has become the coefficient over 3 log x. So at this point, 2 cancel out with 2, 3 cancel out with 3. So, what do you remain with? So, here we remain with the log 2 over log, log 2 over log x to be equals to 1. Now, this one, because we have over log x over log x, meaning this term 1, we can multiply both the numerator and denominator by log x, log x over over log x. Then it is minus log 2 over log log 2 over log x. Now in this case you will now see log x is common denominator all through. So log x the common denominator will cancel out meaning you multiply both sides of the equation by log by log x. So what do you remain with? On the left hand side of the equation we remain with the log 2 to be equals to 1 log, 1 log x, then minus log, then minus log 2. So at this point 1, the coefficient becomes the power, so we'll repeat with, we will now have log 2 to be equals to log x raised to power 1 minus log, log 2. So we collect the like terms, the known on their own, and the unknown on the other side of the equation. So here we'll have negative log 2. Coming this side, we'll have log 2 plus log 2 to be equals to log x raised to power 1 is just log log x. So here you have log 2 plus log 2. It means you'll have 2 log 2 to be equals to log x. Now if you can recall, the coefficient is the power. So that will be log 2 raised to power 2 to be equals to log to be equals to log x. So we can now ignore the log on either side of the equation, meaning log, you ignore the log on either side of the equation. So you remain with 2 squared to be equals to x. So that implies that x is equals to 4. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the simplest means to solve 
that logarithmic equation. Thank you for watching and don't forget to tune in our next video.